Oskar Schindler's main goal was actually to make money. Because of this ambition, he first joined the Nazi party and was later accepted into the German intelligence agency. The agency sent him disguised as a businessman to inspect the German army in Poland. However, he took advantage of the war and started employing slave Jews in Krakow in his own factory. He expanded his business together with his accountant, Jewish Itzhak Stern. Over time, as he saw the cruelty inflicted on the Jews by the Nazis, his greed for money began to turn into mercy. He began to spend the money he earned to save the Jews who were subjected to Nazi oppression. He rescued the Jews under the name of workers and started feeding them free of charge. While Nazis withdrawing from Poland, Schindler saved the Jews who entering the concentration camps by registering them on his workers list. After the war, he went bankrupt and was declared a traitor. After his actions became known, he was invited to Israel many times. According to his will, he was buried in Jerusalem.